Hi guys, this is Alex Klein from Stiebel Eltron Germany Energy Campus. We met each other beginning of this year in Australia and New Zealand and I'm here to show you a little bit about our campus and to explain once more a few of our technical topics concerning the heat pumps. In our energy campus we have four different rooms prepared to do some trainings for you. The first one is the domestic hot water room. The second is the hands-on room where we really can do technical trainings and service trainings. The third one is related to air ventilation systems with heat recovery, where we can show the products and also the way how to uh, distribute the air to the different rooms. And last not least, we are here in my favorite room, which is the heat pump room, where we have installed a few different installations and a few different heat pump types to show what they can do and how to do that. So the first thing I would like to show you is why it is so important to have the right size of heat exchanger in a domestic hot water cylinder. Right size means fits to the capacity of your heat pump. And here we have now a heat pump running with a small capacity, six to seven kilowatts. And you see here the flow and the return temperature from the heat pump has a delta T of six Kelvin at the moment. Now we go to settings, domestic hot water settings, standard settings, and here we find the domestic hot water output heat pump and the capacity. Okay, have a look what has happened now. Our return temperature from the cylinder is still 53 degrees C, but the flow temperature out of the heat pump has increased now to in this moment 65 degrees C. So before we had a delta T of 6 Kelvin, now we have a delta T of 12 Kelvin. 12 Kelvin delta T on the heat pump is from the beginning already too much. So uh, usually we will try to work with 5 to 7 in domestic hot water, maybe 7 to 8, but that should be the maximum. Um, in this case here, we have a very huge heat exchanger in the cylinder. This is a high efficient cylinder from Stiebel Eltron, 400 liters. So the top heat exchanger that you see here has a capacity of four square meters and the bottom one, another one and a 1.4 square meters. So in total, we are talking about 5.4 square meters of heat exchange surface. And we are working with a heat pump now with around 15 kilowatts. The most important information is any degree C higher flow rate you have while doing domestic hot water is increasing your running cost of doing domestic hot water 1.8%. Thank you and goodbye.